Welcome to our third episode of exploring the new user security governance framework. If you missed the last two episodes, I highly recommend watching them first. You can find the playlist in the description. In this chapter, I will explore and demonstrate the feature called temporary role management. In today's dynamic business environment, efficiently managing temporary roles is crucial. The new user security governance framework in Microsoft Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations provides a robust solution for automatic temporary role assignments and their subsequent removal. Consider an employee, Alex, who needs temporary access to the finance module for a specific project. With this new framework, Alex manager can easily assign the necessary roles for a specified period. Once the project is completed, the system automatically removes those roles ensuring security and compliance without manual intervention. Let's take another example. Imagine an employee, Sam, who is going on a paternity leave for 10 days. During this period, Sam's access to certain sensitive modules needs to be temporarily revoked. With the new framework, Sam's manager can automate the removal of these roles for the duration of his leave. Once Sam returns, the system automatically reinstates his previous roles, maintaining security and efficiency. This automation not only streamlines the role management, but also minimizes the risk of unauthorized access, making it an essential feature for modern organizations. Let's see how this works in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Now I'm in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Like I mentioned in my previous episodes, to use user security governance, we need to enable the feature which is available from 1043. The feature name is user security governance. Once this is enabled, you will see list of forms or features under this security governance form. As mentioned, I will demonstrate this temporary role management in this lesson. I will click on this and this form will open. First. We will work on the first scenario where Alex is going to work on a special project and for that he needs some temporary roles for the specific project for the specific period. When the project and period is over, the system will automatically revoke those roles and reinstate the previous roles for the same user. I will select new and I will select a user. In this case, I will select Sujoy. And I will give a description. Special project for finance. And most important part here is the type. We have two types. One is replace and another is merge. So replace and merge is very important topic. Merge is for, it's like Sujoy having some roles and do we really want to continue with these roles along with the temporary role which you are going to give to Sujoy or we are going to replace the existing role with a temporary role for the temporary period. Example, Sujoy has a role for accountant and budgeting and if we want to merge with a temporary role for this special finance project with account receivable part then this all the roles will be part of the temporary role along with his existing roles and replace means his existing roles auditing and budgeting will be removed and only the temporary role which we are giving in this framework will be there during this temporary period and when the period is over the role will be removed and the existing role the previous role will be added by the system automatically the next important part is planned. Under the planned, you will see start date, time and end date time. This is record to plan your temporary role, start date and end date. Which means Sujoy will have the temporary role between this date and time. I will select today's date as start date and today's date as end date as well. So that I can show you how it looks like after the period is over. But for your case, you need to plan accordingly 
based on the start date and end date of this temporary role. Now this part is done. I will save it and the status will be in draft. I will now move to the next part, which is temporary role user type. From here, if you click on assign roles, you will notice this is the same form which we see at the time of assigning any roles to the users. Basically, this is the form where you give the role or you assign the temporary role to the user. From here, either you can select any user from the list and all the roles for that user will be retrieved and you can select and add those roles as a temporary role for this user. For me, it's Sujoy. Or you can select any role manually one by one and assign those roles as a temporary role to Sujoy or your user. Let's click on OK. So now the temporary roles have been added. Further, you can click on the role and assign the organization or legal entity against this role or restrict the role as per your legal entity. Just like the standard process. This part is done. We will move to the next one. Original roles. This tab is to see all the roles the user have currently. It is only for record purpose. You can't change anything because this is already available in the user's ID. The next one is audit log. It is very straightforward. It brings the UTC timestamp. It brings the user ID who is creating this temporary role management. And it, it brings a generic status, which is draft in my case right now and operation, whether we have created it, whether we have amended it. So that details will come into this tab audit log. The next tab is user log. This brings the user's login timestamp or the online time duration based on dates that will come here in the user log. And the next one is user role change log. It is exactly same to the role change log which we have seen in my previous episode. So if you see till date in Sujoy's ID, which role was removed, which role has was added, who has done it, and what was the date and time. Everything is coming here under the user role change log. Now I will change the status to planned and once changed to planned, then I will click on process. A new window will open. From here, if you are using this for the first time, then you can configure this recurrence batch job. It will be running in the background. So ideally, going forward, if you click on planned, then if the batch is running in background, that will make it activated. Or if you don't want to have it, that's fine. You can come here, click on process and manually, manually make it active. So I have already configured this batch job. So for you, you need to configure the batch job, then it will run in the background. It will make it activated. So I'm waiting for the batch job to make it active. All right, now temporary role management for Sujoy, it is activated. And if I go to Sujoy's ID, we will notice the temporary roles which we have selected as part of temporary role have been assigned to Sujoy's ID. We will also check what are the roles we have added as part of temporary role management. See, these are the roles we have added as part of temporary role. And if we go back to Sujoy's ID, all these roles have been added. And since we have selected this as a type of replace, the original roles which was there as part of roles under the Sujoy's ID, those are replaced by this temporary role. We will also check once the temporary period is over, you will expect the original role will be retrieved and the temporary role will be removed. Since I have added today's date as a end date of this temporary role management, it will be finished. As you can see, the status is now finished. In the start date and end date, the date is now available. Now, as per the expectation, 
the original role should be re-added to Sujoy's ID since the temporary period is over. So temporary role will be removed. Let's see Sujoy's ID. As you can see, the roles which were added as part of original roles, which is now retrieved and re-added to Sujoy's ID and all the temporary roles have been removed. So that is all about the first scenario where user is going to work in a special finance project. So his or her ID will be added with multiple temporary roles during the special period. And once the period is over, original role will be retrieved. Now we will work on the second scenario where user is going for a paternity leave. And during this period, company wants the user's role will be temporarily removed. And once he joins back, automatically the roles will be added to the user's ID. Here I will select a start date and end date as a planned start date end date. You can configure as per your own planned start date and end date. For me, just to showcase, I will select today's date start and today's date end as well. I will select paternity leave in the description and in the type, I will select replace. And these are the original roles available for this user. I will keep only the system user as a temporary role so that during the user's paternity leave period, all the roles are removed. And once he comes back, then all the roles are re-added to this user. I will click on assign roles to assign the temporary role. From the role list, I will select system user and assign it. Once done, I will change the status to planned. And now I will wait for the bad job to make it active. So now the temporary role management is active for this user. And if we check the user's roles, system user role is given and other roles are removed. And if we see the original roles, there were three roles but due to security reasons as the user is going for a paternity leave the organization decided to remove those roles as a temporary basis and once once the user will join he will get all the roles and that is true by automatic process so now the end date has come system had automatically completed this work and changed the status to finished if we go back and check the user's role all the original roles were part of user's role now added to the user's id so these are the roles which was there and now it is added let's cross verify from the original roles yeah these are the roles which were there in original roles now it is retrieved and re-added to user's id once the temporary period is over so that is all about the second scenario in short in my opinion Temporary role management is an incredibly useful tool. It streamlines the security process by providing greater control when employees are on leave or working on special projects, etc. This feature not only enhances the security but also saves a significant amount of time. Thanks for watching.